guys, welcome to this tutorial and I'll be showing you how to record on Ubuntu and how to edit it, the videos that which you would record on Ubuntu with Windows. So there are two required programs for Windows which is Camtasia Studio for the editing and a converting program which is any video converter. You can have your own converting program but this is a suggestion which I always use. Um, that should be pretty much it and I'll be showing you the program on Ubuntu in order for you to uh, record Ubuntu. So um, let's get started. Alright, you must be logged in into Ubuntu obviously. So basically when you're in Ubuntu on the left side on your launcher you should see Ubuntu Software Center. Go ahead and open it up and then on the search bar at the top right just put GTK record and there it is you can read more information if you click on the button or you can automatically click on install but I already have mine installed so once you're done installing the program search it with the dash and just put desktop recorder obviously it already popped up so you just go ahead and click on that and this is what pops up of the program if you want to have audio and you have it plugged in in your uh, jacks of your computer you check mark that box and you can set the quality to 100% or 100 for the video quality as well and you hit record and you have it all but if you want to customize it instead of just leaving it at its default settings go ahead and click on the advanced button this sort of window should pop up and at the files tab it will show where it will save it in its destination you can choose it to be saved on your desktop or originally it goes to your home folder that's pretty much the default which I always leave it at you can have it on your desktop if you want to but if you want it in your home folder which is over here you can have it saved in there and if you hover over the performance tab after you're done editing the settings here you can choose how many frames per second you want my great suggestion to use 30 frames because it keeps everything smooth well it actually depends on your graphics card if it can do it smooth but 30 frames per second is pretty smooth encode on the fly if you want that but I suggest greatly never to use that because it is like super fast like Alvin and the chipmunks fast because it speeds up the recording and it helps I guess uh, get the video quality uh, lower I guess but the quick subsampling you can choose that if you want to but it makes your video quality uh, lower the full shots at every frame this is for 3d you know when you do desktop cube or when you do um, let's say start menu W and it will capture it yeah for uh, navigation and you can record all those special effects and if you click on the sound tab you can set how many channels you want for your audio I don't use this because I use an external microphone due to the fact that Ubuntu doesn't work very well with my own uh, audio driver. But with the frequency, you can set that to a higher rate and you just leave this alone. You don't want to touch that. And if you click on the Mist tab, it has some customizable settings similar to Windows with their own screen capturing prog programs. Um, follow mouse, when you make the window smaller, by making the window smaller, I mean like if you see this right here you can choose how you want to record it just like that or you can make it bigger now you're wondering when you do this how do you set it to the default well basically you have to close the program then start it back up again and then you just leave it alone and it should record at full screen but yeah that's how you capture a window so when you capture a window if you navigate back to misc you can choose follow mouse and when you close this settings it will follow the mouse, the screen capturing program, when you record. That's a similar feature to Cam Studio for Windows. That's pretty much the feature. Um, tool tips, you see this tool tip right here? Well, you can disable that with the program. So I just taught you a tutorial on the program itself that is meant for Ubuntu. And once you're done, uh, what's it called, recording, it should be in your home folder. And when you have it in your home folder, you're wondering how to transfer it to Windows because you're in Ubuntu. Well, if you notice this file system, if you have Ubuntu installed on the C drive by default, you can right click on that, open in a new window, and navigate to Host. 
then you're going to have to nav navigate to users and then you should see beginnings or the name of your user that you recognize and you double click on that you can choose your videos and what you have to do is drag it and it should be copied into windows and now when it's copied into windows we're going to have to convert it because it's a different file format and nobody uses OGV but Ubuntu and other distros so that's how you record and you navigate to your home folder as I mentioned earlier and when you open up home folder you should see OUT originally when you're done downloading being done not filming it should say OUT and that's your video that you recorded basically that's how you transfer it into Windows so now we will be moving on to Windows since I taught you the tutorial of the program itself so let's get to Windows All right, there we go. Once you're in Windows, here are the required software, as I mentioned earlier. Um, Any video converter, um, it's a converting program for, of course, video types. If you have your own, as I mentioned earlier, that will be perfectly fine. Um, if you want to use this one, which is required by me, um, go ahead and get it, as I said earlier too. Camtasia Studio, and that should be about it. So. To get started, you transfer the out OGV video type to the area where you transferred it. I saved it in my micro helper, Ubuntu videos, video, and you should see your video. Record my desktop.ogv and you can't open it up. This will automatically pop up, which is why we have to convert it. So open up the, your converting program. For me, it's any video converter and let me just click on OK on that drag in the video this automatically pops up for me because I don't have audio in mine if you don't have yours it should be perfectly fine just click on OK and read all the information about it so I suggest to convert it to AVI or if you like something else like WMV I choose mine to uh, AVI because it's more customizable let the video codec be that one. Set your your uh, frame size to 1440 by 900 or the resolution it has here. So mine's 1440 by 900. Leave the bit rate at 768. Video frame rate 30 frames per second because it says it right there. And your audio, obviously when we recorded it, it was on one channel. So you set that to one channel. But if you set it to two, that should be good. Originally mine's one, but I have no audio set all of this but for me I don't have any audio as I mentioned earlier and I set my disable audio to yes because I don't have any audio that should be pretty much it for my video options but you have audio options you go ahead and set that up and you just click on convert and that should just uh, convert the video so I'll be back once I'm done converting it So, there it is. It is now done for me, and I'm just going to click on no thanks with this. So, with your converter program or with any video converter, you should see your own video. I already use these, so I don't really need them, but here's the video I converted. So, in order to edit, if you have Sony Vegas Pro, you can use that to edit your videos. But for screencasting purposes, I suggest greatly for with Camtasia Studio. So, start it up. So once you have it open, go ahead and drag in the video and do necessary edits. If you watched my previous video on how to render in HD 
with your own with Camtasia Studio, you can do that. Um, basically, you just drag in the video, and um, you set your dimensions. For me, it's 1280 by 720. You get the black bars. Just click on Zoom and Pan. Start from the beginning of the video. Right click, snap to edges, and the black bar should be gone. But yeah, that's pretty much it, and you just render it with Camtasia Studio. Make all the necessary edits. You can zoom in like that. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoy it. And that's how you record videos on Ubuntu and edit them on Windows with any program. But Camtasia Studio is required by me. So that should be it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.